namin Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagagampanan na huwag maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen. Great day everyone! Welcome to another lesson in Media and Information Literacy. Once again, welcome to Valenzuela Live. I am your host, Teacher Sheng, and I'm happy to virtually engage with you today. Here are some reminders for today's learning engagement. First, keep your learning module always handy. Second, use the chat box in answering and enjoy learning. For today's learning engagement, we are going to discuss about media and information sources. The most essential learning competencies for this lesson are number 1. Identify three types of information sources. Second, appreciate the role of media as information sources. And number 3, contrast the indigenous media to the more common sources of information. Becoming an information literate individual includes understanding the different types of media. So let's have a quick review of what we had last time. For our directions, identify the types of media shown in the next slide. You may type in the following codes in the chat box. BM for the broadcast media, PM for the print media, and DM for the digital media. You will be given 5 seconds to answer each item. Are you ready? Let us begin. Number 1. The Philippine Star. Your time starts now. The answer is PM for print media. You are correct. Next number. Number 2. All of us dead. Your time starts now. Okay, your answer is BM for the broadcast media. You are correct. Next number. Number three, TikTok. Your time starts now. If your answer is DM, absolutely right. Next number, number four, Encanto. Your time starts now. The answer is BM. Wow, you are all amazing. For the last number, number five, Instagram. Your time starts now. Answer, DM. You are right. Okay. Media and information providers play a central role in information and communication processes. Nowadays, media become the common outlet of self-expression and creativity. Its huge influence spreads speedily across the globe. The connection between technological advances and people's connectivity created a huge impact on the lives of today's generation. Before we start, let's play a game. For our direction, decode the corresponding letter of each number to identify different types of information sources. These are the corresponding numbers in our alphabet. Let's have a sample. We have number 19, 15, 21, 18, 3, 
5, and 19. Look for the corresponding letters from the alphabet to decode and reveal the answers. What is your answer? Yes, you are right. The answer is sources. You can screenshot the alphabet code for your reference. Are you ready? Let's begin. Number one, we have number nine, 14, four, nine, seven, five, 14, 15, 21, and 19. Your time starts now. Your answer is indigenous. That is great. Indigenous refers to a native, local, originating, or produced naturally in a particular region. Next number, we have 12, 9, 2, 18, 1, 18, 25. Your time starts now. The correct answer is very good library library is a place set apart to contain books periodicals and other materials for reading viewing listening study of reference set of rooms or building where books may be read or borrowed for the next number we have number 9 14 20 5 18 14, 5, and 20. Your time starts now. The answer is Internet. That's OSA. Internet is a vast computer networking linking smaller computer networks worldwide. It includes commercial, educational, governmental, and other networks all of which use the same set of communications protocols. Information literacy is the ability to find, evaluate, organize, use, and communicate information in all its various formats, most notably in situations requiring decisions making, problem solving, or the acquisition of knowledge. Here are the things to consider in evaluating information. Number one, we have reliability. It is reliable if it can be verified and evaluated. We also have accuracy. It refers to the closeness of the report to the actual data. Next, we have the value. It is said to be value if it is aids the user in making or improving decisions. We also have authority. Much of the information we gather daily do not come from a primary source but are passed on through secondary sources such as writers, reporters, and the like. Sources with an established expert on the subject matter are considered as having sound authority on the subject. For example, letter A, who authored or published the information, and for letter B, is the sources credible? And the last, we have the timeliness. In general, there are three types of resources or sources of information. We have primary, secondary, tertiary. It is important to understand these types and to know what type is appropriate for our coursework prior to searching for information. For first, we have the primary sources. Primary sources are original materials on which another research is based, including original written works such as poems, diaries, court records, interviews, surveys, and original research and fieldwork. And we also have a research published in scholarly academic journals. We have secondary sources. Secondary sources are those that describe or analyze primary sources, including reference material such as dictionaries, encyclopedias, textbooks, and of course we have books and articles that interpret, review, or synthesize original research or field work. 
For number three, we have the tertiary sources are those used to organize and locate secondary and primary sources. We have indexes which provide citations that fully identify a work with information such as author, titles of book, article, journal, publisher and publication date, volume and issue number and page numbers. We have also have abstract which summarizes the primary and secondary sources and the databases which are online indexes that usually includes abstract for each primary or secondary sources and may also include a digital copy of the resources. One of the primary roles of media placed is to inform from news to current affairs to lifestyle subjects, weather reports to celebrity updates, educational subject to recreational details and more. The whole array of data the media offers make it an invaluable source of information. We have the information sources such as first, the indigenous media sources, second, the library sources, and third, the internet sources. Traditionally, knowledge is a reflection of one's culture. This information serves as a foundation of communication and survival among our ancestors. Way back then, hence, the term indigenous was associated to indigenous knowledge. Let us define what is indigenous media. According to Warren in 1991, indigenous media is a knowledge that is unique to a given culture or society. Indigenous knowledge is relayed through people media. This refers to a person's involved in the use, analysis, and production of media and information. Also, a communication media, a type of media that is owned and controlled by indigenous people. We also have characteristics of indigenous media. Number one, a practice of oral tradition of communication. It refers to a transmission of information through local channels or forms. It is mean by which culture is preserved, handed down, and adapted. Local meetings such as kapihan, balitaktakan, and kwentong barbero are some examples of communication and how news and stories are passed on within a community. Number two, the information is stored in memories of people or can be written or curved. And next, Information is contained within the border of the community. Indigenous media and information are highly credible because they are near the sources and are seldom circulated for profit and the transfer of information is limited within the community. According to Virginia Tech Library, information comes from virtually anywhere like media, blogs, personal experiences, books, journals, and magazine articles, expert opinions, encyclopedias, and web pages. And the type of information you need will change depending on the questions you are trying to answer. Library is defined as a place or room that contains a large collection of books and reference materials that are kept for use. We have four types of libraries. Number one, we have the academic library, which serves usefully from college and universities. Next, we have the public library, which serves in cities and towns of all types. We also have a school library, which serves students from kindergarten to grade 12. And the special library, which specializes in environments such as hospitals, corporations, museum, the military, private, businesses, and the government. Libraries came into existence because of the invention of the printing press. Another information source is the internet. According to Shelley and Campbell in 2012, 
internet source is a global network of computers that allows users to share information for various purposes. Accessing information to the internet is easy but requires more discipline to check and validate. Factual and fictitious data are often merged. Sources always must be validated. Here are some uses of internet. First, to find current information. Next is to find both expert and popular opinions and to find information about hobbies and personal interests. We also have an advantage and disadvantage of internet. For the advantage, all resources are accessible and convenient to use, especially nowadays. For the disadvantage, it is difficult to check the accuracy of some information on the internet. To sum up our lesson, let us find out what you have learned in today's learning engagement. First, we learn about the information literacy, the three types of sources were in the primary, secondary, and tertiary. Also, we learn the types of information sources from indigenous media, library, and the internet. Appreciate the roles of media as a source of information and contrast the indigenous with the common sources of information. Now, I am sure enough that you are ready to have a short check of learning. For our directions, identify the sources of information by writing IS for internet sources, LS for library sources, and IM for indigenous media. You will be given 5 seconds to answer each question. Just a reminder, answer all the questions honestly based on what you have learned today. For number one, we have the Kwentong Barbero. We have number two, World Wide Web. For number three, we have Encyclopedia. Four, Carb Memories. Five, Textbooks. Six, we have wireless connection, seven, oral instruction, number eight, we have the journals, nine, news on radio, and number ten, cyberspace. To check your answer, for number one, the answer is I am. The number two, the answer is I am. For number three, if your answer is LS, you are correct. For number four, we have the IM. For number five, we have LS. Six, IS again. Seven, we have LM. You're making my job so fun. Number eight, the answer is LS. You are correct. And for number nine, if your answer is IM, that is correct. And number ten, the answer is IS. Did you get a perfect score? Please type me in the comment box if you got this perfectly. Whoa, that's amazing. Most of you got the perfect score. Congratulations. That is all for today. I hope you learned from today's learning engagement. Time flies really fast. This has been Teacher Sheng. And see you again for another episode of Valenzuela Live. Stay home, stay safe, and keep on learning. Bye!